Joining me now is David Sirota, nationally syndicated columnist and host on AM 760 in Colorado. Um, he's also the author of the book, The Uprising. And David, I'm going to give you a nickname. I'm going to start calling you The Uprising from now on. I like that. I think it sounds cool. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So the Republican Party, how bought are they? 80 percent, 90 percent or 100 percent? That, that, that's an impossible question. But, but one thing, Cenk, give Daryl Issa credit here, right? He came out and he was honest about how the system works. So I, I, I don't want to, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that a little tongue in cheek, but here's the thing. He came out and he said, listen, hey, big money interests, you want to buy policy? Here's how you buy it. You tell me exactly what you want and we're going to try to deliver. And the problem with this is really a, in a process way is usually what has happened in the past is that industries had to come to the government and testify and tell us what they wanted. Now he's doing it through this letter writing situation where the public won't necessarily know who's asking for the policy when it ultimately fits into the bill that the Republicans offer. So how do they do it? And I guess they do it with the money, right? They get the money from the industry guys, they run for office, and they pretend to be for the people. And then they turn around and go, okay, how do I pay you back? And they, and they do this. How do we let people know, other than this obviously, that these guys aren't on your side? They don't care if you get, you know, you have to suffer pollution in your local area or whatever. They're for the guys who pay their bills. Well, I think, look, I think the public knows that in a general sense. I think the public is rightly suspicious of Congress, rightly suspicious. Every poll shows suspicious of money and politics. But I think every time a story like this comes out, it reiterates just how granular uh, the corruption really is, just how in the micro it really is in terms of legislating uh, different lines, different regulations of bills. So it's important to continue highlighting this to reiterate that money, as you suggest, money buys things in politics, just like it buys things in the of the economy. Right. Real quick, David, do uh, you think they're going to be successful? They're going after the EPA hard. That's their top target. How successful do you think they might be? I think they're going to be pretty successful if the Democrats roll over. And that's a huge if right now. The pre president is focused on being, quote unquote, pro business. And that may mean that the president tries to appease the Republicans, who, of course, are shilling for their big money interests. Uh, and we may see that come to, fr come to fruition when it comes to EPA policymaking. All right. Let's hope it doesn't happen. But I'm a little worried. David Sirota, thanks for your time tonight.